three, two, one. Five frowns sitting around. Oh, what a terrible bore. One turn did say. Five, four, three, two, one. Five frowns sitting around. Oh, what a terrible bore. One turned itself upside down and smiled. And then there were four. Yeah, four. Four frowns sitting around, such a sad sight to see. One turned itself upside down and smiled. And then there were three. Yeah, three. Three frowns sitting around, didn't know what they wanted to do. One turned itself upside down and smiled. And then there were two. Mm -hmm, two. Two frowns sitting around, not having any fun. One turned itself upside down and smiled. And then there was one. One, right. Five, four, three, two, one. You try. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. One frown sitting around, with no one to frown up down and turned itself upside down and smiled. And then there were two. Mm -hmm, two. Two frowns sitting around, not having any fun. One turned itself upside down and smiled. And then there was one. One, right. Five, four, three, two, one. You try. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. One frown sitting around with no one to frown upon. The four smiles came and turned that frown around. And then all the frowns were gone. And there were one, two, three, four, five. And if you smile, that would make six. Come on, let me see it. Thank you. Six smiles. Hi there, welcome back to the Wisconsin PBS Kids Open House. I want to give you guys a heads up at about 10.50, we are going to have a statewide sing and dance along with Mr. Steve and his brand new song, Recess Rocks. It's going to be exciting. So stay tuned for that, but right now we have Mr. Steve to lead us in a whole different exciting song. This song I've been playing on PBS Kids and WPT for many years, but just recently we made it into a book. It's the Shape Song Swing Along, and you guys can help me with the dance. Ready? L make some shapes with your body like this. Line, line, circle, circle, square, 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 triangle, triangle. The Shape Song Swing Along, and you guys can help me with the dance. Ready? L make some shapes with your body like this. Line, line, Circle, circle, square, 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 triangle, triangle, beautiful. I have a shape collection and I use it to create anything I want to see or be or do or make. Is it work? Is it play? Is it music? Is it art? It's my shape collection. All I need to do is start with a line, line, circle, circle, square, 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 triangle, triangle. Can you make some waves? I drew boats out on the water. I drew a castle on the sand. I drew a beachside water slide. Oh, what a ride. And I never even had to stand in line. Line, circle, circle, square, 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 triangle, triangle. All right, bop around a little bit. Here comes the party. I drew a party in the park. The DJ was a monkey, everybody there was dancing, but no one was as funky as the lion. Rawr. Circle, circle, square, 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 triangle, triangle. I'm sure that even Monet and Da Vinci had to start very simply when they learned how to draw. Michelangelo, Picasso, and Van all had to know how to draw a line, line, let me see it. Circle, circle, square, 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 triangle, triangle, line, line, circle, circle, square, 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 hexagon, polygon, octagon, line, yeah. 
nicely done, nicely done. Good shape. We wanted to talk a little bit now about doing things outside. I mean, getting up and going doesn't just involve doing exercises in the house or volleyball or anything like that. It involves being outside. And we're joined now by Dana Connolly, who's with a group called Wander Wisconsin, and with Colin Bischoff, who's nine years old, who's going to do something really special, by the way. Not to put any pressure on you, but he's going to do something special. First, Dana, you have to answer the questions. Um, why is it so important for kids to be outside? And what can they do outside? Well, we try to get our kids someplace out of the classroom where they can still thrive. We try and get them places they might not be able to get with their parents, someplace like going inside of a cave or going rock climbing. And when you're outside, you never run out of things to do. So we try and make sure that we get to every little piece that we can try and investigate. Okay. Do you find that it's a hard sell with kids, or do kids just naturally, intuitively love being outside? Naturally love being outside. We might have one thing planned, and the kids like doing it, and then they develop it into something totally new we never knew we could do. They find new things every day. Okay. Colin, tell me some of the things that you've gotten a chance to do through Wander, Wisconsin. Well, I've gotten a chance to go camping, fishing, swimming. You caught a big fish recently, right? Yep, two days ago. What kind of fish? It was a bass about this big. And the reason that he's, he's using his arm like that is because we're about to hear something that, that was developed, not inside, I'm sure, but developed outside. So what are you doing first? Tell me what you're going to do. Well, I'm going to leaf whistle. What are you going to do? Leaf whistle. Leaf whistle. All right, here you go. Go ahead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you never thought you'd see a leaf whistle on PBS Kids Get Up and Go Day. That was awesome. How hard? How, did that take you a while to figure out? Mm, not really. Did you learn it or did you make it up on your own? Did they teach you? I learned it. My stepmom taught me. Well, cool. Thanks for sharing that. Leaf whistling. So for kids out there, Dana, for parents out there, there are opportunities really, whether it's your program or others, that all over the state, right? I mean, this state is so perfect for it. There, this state is perfect not only because we're a wonderful outdoor state, but we have natural state parks that have so many amazing things to go and visit. You can do something new every day and none, never run out of stuff to do outside. We appreciate it. Dana Connolly with Wander, Wisconsin. Colin Bischoff is going to go on tour. He's got five concert dates with his leaf whistle all prepared. He doesn't know it yet, and I haven't told his mom yet, but I'm going to here shortly. Sorry, I'm going to send it back to you. All right, great. Thanks, guys. And here we are going to be getting down with Mr. Steve, I think. Yes. This next song is about something that's been bringing me down lately. It's called Gravity. You've heard of it? All right, this is not just going to be a song. It's going to be a, a game. Since gravity is the force that pulls us down to the ground, every time I say the word down, you need to touch the ground. Let's try it. Down. Down, down. All right. Now, if I don't say down, you stay up. That's the tricky part. You ready? Isaac Newton found gravity. Apple hit him falling from a tree. He said, it seems to me there ought to be a reason for that. Maybe it's not falling down as much as good listening. Maybe it's not falling down as much as Earth is pulling it towards the ground. No, not ground. Ah, oh, you know you saw my friend on when the apple smushed my hat. So we're down with gravity, baby, down. With gravity, baby, down. With gravity, baby, down, 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 down. So we tested that theory with different planets of the galaxy. He found, of course, that the pulling force was directly proportional to their mass. That's true. Larger objects like planets and stars attract smaller ones like peanuts and cars. Pull us in, we could have been floating into space like a gas. But instead, we're down with gravity, baby, down. With gravity, hey, hey, down. With gravity, hey, hey, down, down, down. You're getting the hang of it now. Don't you just hate it when you fall and you scrape your knee? Or when you're licking an ice cream cone and the top scoop plops right off on the sidewalk? Oh, yeah, it's the worst. What about if you're walking down the street? Oh, did I trick almost everyone? What about when you're walking down the street and you fall into a bottomless pit? Oh. But down there is a big pinata. Down there is a big pinata. And you knock it open and all the prizes come pouring out. And fun is falling from the sky, yeah. Well, all this talk about things coming down, 
has reminded me of a little story. You might recognize the story about two kids who have a run-in with something that we call gravity. Here we go. All about our friends Jack and Jill. They made their way up that hill, had a well of water to see. Yeah. Jack fell and crumbled his crown. Jill laughed so hard she fell down. All thanks to that gravity. Yeah. And they were down. Sing it if you know it. With gravity vaping down. With gravity vaping down. With gravity vaping down, 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 down. With gravity vaping down. With gravity vaping down. With gravity vaping down, 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 down. Up. Down. Yes.